It was too much of a good thing in the past. A holiday light display so elaborate and so popular, neighbors complained of large crowds and trashed lawns. Well, this year, a compromise mm -hmm. to keep things under control in the Rancho Cucamonga neighborhood. KKL 9 Inland Empire reporter Nicole Comstock is live there with the details. Look at the lights, <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> I know it's so pretty behind us here, isn't it? Well, the thoroughbred lights have been an iconic Christmas tradition for decades. Tons of people understandably want to come out here to see this, but you can see just the single file line of cars heading into this neighborhood tonight. Traffic out here has to be much more controlled nowadays, and that's because maybe a few too many people wanted to come out here and see this. They take Christmas swag to a whole new level. Here on Thoroughbred Street in Rancho Cucamonga. We liked this, I don't know, we call it kind of classic Christmas look. Where you can catch the Schwartzlander family's beautiful warm white lights. And so then our, our neighbors have the big show next door. Or this family's in your face display of every colored lights, time to music. We like the, the contrast of the palette cleanser. <laughs> Every year for decades, people drive here by the thousands to catch a glimpse of the houses that are very creatively decked out for Christmas. In fact, so many people show up that traffic is usually backed up all the way down to the 210 freeway. So because the thoroughbred lights may have gotten too big for its own britches, this year to reduce the congestion, the viewing times were limited once again, and it's mainly drive through only, with only a few days allotted for families to walk through earlier in the month. There was two days only to walk it, and I'm like, what? Oh my God, we even missed it. This is their first time walking around here. Last year was COVID, so we just we didn't show up. The Fu family says traffic is still pretty congested, and they liked it better when everyone could walk through. Yeah, I think it's a lot more funner when everybody's on, the, on their feet and not having just cars lining up and not able to just stop. Nevertheless, people who showed up this year say some of their favorites were the Grinch house, this California tropical themed house. Bunch of stuff in their driveway. It's really pretty. And some of the more traditional Christmas displays. We can't forget what the true meaning of Christmas is. And there's still time to come out here and drive through the thoroughbred lights still running from tonight until Christmas Eve starts at about 530 in the evening and runs until 11. But keep in mind this weekend will probably be very, very busy the weekend before Christmas. So if you're going to come out here, you definitely want to bring some snacks with you because it's going <laughs> to take a while to get through this line. <laughs> Reporting in Rancho Cucamonga, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News. That still looks so, what can I say, entertaining and excited <laughs> and imagine being that one neighbor who doesn't want to decorate. Yeah, uh, I don't think there is one out there, Nicole. All right. Thanks so much. <laughs>